Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create your own tones in SimCam that's part of the CNC Simulator Pro software. Before we begin, make sure you have version 1.2.0.4 or later. Uh, otherwise this will not work, so you will need to go to our download page at cncsimulator.com and download and install the latest version if you don't already have it. Ok, go to settings and the inventory browser. Now make sure you have my late tone selected and click the edit button. This will open the SimCam file that contains the tool definitions. Click on the layers button to open the layers form. Here you can see that each tool has its own layer. If we control click a layer, this will make it the only visible one. As you can see, each tool, each external tool I should say, contains two contours. One contour, the first one, is the contour that defines the tool insert. And the second contour is the tool holder. Now you can also click at the little gear button on the layer to see the parameters. And in here we can set the colors of the insert and the holder and uh, thickness of the parts, nose radius, etc. Okay, let's create our own tool. What you need to do is you click on this add tool pot layer button and tool definition. Scroll all the way down and you will see that we have a new layer down here. And this is the layer where we are going to draw our new tool. Control click on the layer to make it the only visible one. And you can now close the layers dialog. Okay, now click on this button to hide the editor to make room for the contours we are going to draw. And click on more, contour, and click on rectangle. We are going to draw a little square that is going to be a simple insert. Click on 0, 0 and 10, 10. Just make it a small 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter rectangle. Now let's draw the holder. So I go to more again and then contour and then follow mouse and just draw something simple that looks like a tool holder maybe something like this okay now we have drawn two contours the first one is representing the tool insert and the second one the tool holder. As you can see there is a big grey rectangle square around here and it represents the, the clamp where the tool will be mounted in the machine. So to move this, to move the tool to fit in the clamp you have to click on the holder contour, take modify origin and change its origin to the position where you want it to be clamped in the machine. So let's click here. Now this will be the clamp and the tool will be mounted like this. So this is the correct way of doing it. Let's put in corner radius uh, at the insert. So I click the insert contour near the corner where, where I want to put the, the radius. Modify, fill it, and we fill in 0 0.8 down here for the radius. Okay, next corner, click, modify, fill it, and this time you can just press enter because it's already there. Okay, next corner. Modify, fill it, enter, and the final corner. Modify, 
Whoops. Modify fillet enter. Now we are going to set the properties for the layer. So click on the layers button and on the little gear button for the layer we have created for the new tool. On the first page uh, we can set the colors of the tool. So select an insert color and maybe a blue color for the holder, whatever you like. On the second page where it says external tool, we can fill in the size of the tool. So put in a thickness for the insert, let's say four millimeter, and another thickness for the holder, let's say 10 millimeters. And the nose radius 0 0.8 that we used before. Now close the layers dialog again. And that's all, this is our new tool. Before we can use the new tool, we need to save it. So click File and Save SimCamp File. And as you can see, you need to restart the program uh, to make the tool available. So let's do that now. Okay, we have restarted the CNC simulator and Let's start write the program to test our new tool out. When you press T on the keyboard, you will see a list of available tools. And if we scroll all the way down, we will see that T36 will, is our new tool. So let's click on that and we enter M6 to select the tool. And then just type in a small little program to try it out. We also need a workpiece. And hit the play button. That's it. Our new tool is ready. Thank you.